Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to start with this topic of WordPress. So WordPress, uh, I have made a simple website. Okay, this is not a uh, attractive one. For the beginners, you must learn how to make the simple website. It 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 took only uh, 20 or uh, 20 uh, and 15 minutes between that to uh, done this website. So this is the first page when you are uh, this page here this is the home page of that website so there will be the links software development graphic design and web development if you are going to the software development okay, you will be able to see the software development page if you are graphic designing you will be able to this is all the dummy text i have put in through here the web development you can see here the web development part right so very simple website okay this is all the stuff i will uh, teach you how to modify all the things i will teach you okay how to put this image box and everything i have teach you here if you have click on the software development it goes to the software development link okay so let me see how to do this system this website step by step okay right so first what i am going to do is here i am going to go to first i have to create the domain right so i already purchased the domain and uh, hosting and everything okay in na uh, name host uh, sorry namecheap.com uh, so this is a C panel. What I'm going to do is here. I'm going to create the subdomain first. Okay. So here I'm going to go. To, now I'm going to choose a subdomain. Right. Here I'm going to create the website name, which is a any name I'm going to give the subdomain as. Here I'm going to give the name as Linda. This is the uh, name of the site. So here we have to create the uh, create. Right. Now your subdomain has been created successfully. You have to pay, you have to wait some time to create the domain, right? Now your domain has been created successfully. Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go back to C panel. Right. Now here, what I'm going to do is here, go to the WordPress. software apps right click on the wordpress right. now here go here what i'm going to do is here you have to select install here it, you can you have to choose the url right now i have a this is not a hts i am not selected only http i am going to select here uh, name linda this is the last subdomain i have selected select this one and you have to install this one before that we have to give the site name I'm going to give here as uh, Linda. Right. Site description we no need that. Right. Now here password I just simple password I have to give. Okay, I have to give the uh, password. Admin one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like this. Simple password I have given. Right. Now uh, now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, I'm going to go to install this one click install it takes some time to install the template uh, what all right it asked to the description side description i am going to give as a linda right no problem right that's a problem it asked to the uh, side description now it's fine now it uh, takes some time to install the wordpress website into your server Right now, it, it installed successfully. You can get the message of congrats, congratulations. The software was installed successfully. Uh, this is your page. This is a simple page you, you can see here. This is your admin. You just select right click and new uh, link, new tab right here. Okay. Now it will be go to your dashboard. This is your admin dashboard here. Now what I'm going to do is here you will be able to change the password and everything. Here go to the setting. Here you can go to the general. This is the you can see all the stuff, right? This is, you can you, you if you want to change the site title, you will be able to change, right? Tagline, all the stuff you will be able to change. After that, you have to go to the this link. Perma link. Here you have to check this one. Post name. Okay, default come as day and name. Here, select as post name. Right? 
Yeah, you are a look like this. Okay, this I have installed the install as a subdomain. If you install the as a domain, you can see like this. Okay, uh, here www dot like this. Okay, right? It will be the you are a look like this. Your site name. This is your page. I need like this. Okay, this is a professional way. You can select as post name in the perma link. Oh yeah, click. Now it will be successful. This is the things we have to first we have to do, right? After that, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go to the appearance themes. Here you have to choose the theme, right? It default come as 20, 20, 21 theme. Uh, my opinion is I like to change, uh, add a theme, a new theme. My opinion is you click on this button. Uh, I like a theme. It's very, uh, it asks to log in again. So what is the username and password you are given while you install the WordPress, you have to give here the password, right, right, right. Now it will be open all the team. This all are free. I am going to have a free team, Astra. I like this team, Astra. You can customize the free website in extra team. It's very simple, okay. Your team is here. It will be loading because the, our network uh, uh, internet connection is too slow that's why it's a problem okay this one should be our astra theme okay it's astra theme okay, it's a, you can see here the astra theme you can click install activate right now your theme has been installed successfully as an extra thing here it will be active as extra uh, you, this is your default design. You will be able to, if you are click refresh it, you will be able to see this. Okay, it is simply it, it will be customized look like this. Okay, very simple. Now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, I'm going to go to the widget. This is a widget. You can see all the stuff, right? Search bar, recent post, the, all the stuff. Search bar, recent post, all the stuffs are there. Uh, if you no need this all the stuff you will be able to here it will be uh, right click uh, click on this one and you can click delete okay later on we will what is the things we need what is the thing we no need all the stuff you have to customize in later on now first what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to the plugin and install the relevant plugins into our website right so so go to the plugin here we have to click on the plugin now here add new flag, uh, add new new one. Here you have to search the plugins, right? Here now I'm going to install the plugin. So here going to install this one, Ocean Extra. Control C to copy this one. I have to. I need this one. This is a very good plugin. So Ocean Extra, this one. Okay. Uh, here we have to click install. Right. Activate it later on. Uh, we can activate later on. Okay. First, we have to ins install all the plugins. Right. Ocean social sharing. This is the relevant for the your social websites. Right. Uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, like this. Here, ocean sharing. This one. So this is the things we have to install. Right. Activate later on. Or third one, we have to install this one. Ocean demo import. Click install. Uh, we have to activate later on. This is all the stuff. Out of that, we have to install this one. Uh, Stricky header. Stricky header. This one. Ocean WP Stricky header. Install it. Right. After that, we have to install the, the live mesh add on. The add on also, we have to install the add on. Right, live mash, live ma uh, mash add on, right? Elementor. Okay, this is very important stuff, right? Install it. Right, these are the relevant plugin I am going to install to uh, do the website, right? All the stuff you are done, go to the uh, install pl plugin, right? Plugin, right? Here, install, if you click on this one, you can see here. So, what I did here is you have to select all, activate, uh, sorry, you have to select all the plugin, click on this one, the plugin. And we have select as active, set the option uh, as active, click apply. Now here, all the stuff are uh, here, this all things are active. Now you can uh, uh, check here, go here and uh, you can see here the 
plugins. Plugins. You can see here all are active. You can see check here all things are still active. Right? This is how we have to activate all the stuff. Right? This is how we have to all activate all the stuff. We have done. Right. Now what I'm going to see we have to just copy this one and paste over here, press enter key. Right. This is a simple website, right? So now what I'm going to do is here, we will be able to modify this one very simple way, like look like this. Like this. Okay. Now first what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to uh, do the element, right? How to uh, install the element in your website. You just go to the uh, respective website for the element. Right? You have to go to the element. This is the element. Okay. This is the free one. Uh, this is the here. Uh, this is a free one. If you want to the uh, paid version, premium version, you will be installed it. So I recommend that for you free is enough for to complete the simple website. So get in start. We have to zip this all the stuff we know needed. Yes. Now it asks your domain name. This is your domain name, right? You just copy this one, paste over here, check for WordPress, right? Install the Elementor, right? Here, click install. Right. Now you're installing the plugin, right? Installing the Elementor uh, uh, website builder 3. Point, right? This is the thing. This have installed. So here it is installing. Here uh, you have to activate the plugin. Right. I have activated successfully. This how we have to install the Elementor in your website. Right? Elementor is very easy stuff to customize your website. Here it will be go the introduction how to uh, do the simple website uh, with Elementor. So how to use the Elementor? All the stuff uh, they taught in their official website. Uh, no problem, I will be teach, right? So here, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a page. So go to the page, it's a page, add new. Okay, sorry, we have to uh, select the pages, right? So we'll see what are the pages there, right? Only the sample pages only there. Now I'm going to create a new page, so add new. Add new. Now here we have what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to create the new page as home page, home. So home page, right? So click publish. Uh, before publish, you can see the option. This is the simple option you have to enable it. Uh, the things, customize layout, all right. The co content layout, you have to select as a full width. Then only you will be able to access the full width of the content, right? After that, click publish. After you can see here, the home page is now live. Now what I'm going to do is here, I have to set the link. So here, go here, your dashboard, go to the dashboard. Here, go to the dashboard. Simply go to the dashboard, look like this. So here, what I'm going to do is here, go to the setting, general, uh, uh, read reading you have to select as static here home page this one you have to select as uh, normally it's coming as a sample page you have to select as home page here okay you have set like this after that click save changes this is the setting you have to do right so when the page is loaded it's loading as a home page here i'm going to put the url it's a loading as its home page it will be loaded as a home page this is simple design i have made right so now what I'm going to do is here, we will do the rest of the stuff, okay? Now, simply what I'm going to do is here, uh, I'm going to go to the uh, edit edit this page, this home page. Uh, otherwise, go here, your dashboard, this is a dashboard, go to your all pages, right? Not for all pages. You have to select your home page, so home page, edit, edit. Here you have to select the option edit with elementor. This is the option I am going to choose edit with elementor. Right. 
element right edit with elementor i am going to choose right that's the thing you have to edit with element now your elementor has been loading here your elementor is loading now okay this is very simple way to we have customize your website right as a beginner you no need to code or, or edit anything else here you just you will be simply you have to do the task right so here first this is the elementor look like this right how to work the work with elementor if you know it's no problem if you, if you don't know it's no problem it's very simple this is the these are the all the tools are there right so if you are here go here this school tools are there now first what i am going to see here is the drag and drop click on this one it asks the template how to design your template here it should look like this right if you are need to if you click to it will come like this okay it's true right now first what i am going to do is here first i have to uh, put, put one images uh, text here so how to uh, put the text here go here click on this you have to drag the adder it is the text will be display over here now i am going to type the text as something like that okay here this one same thing later on i have changed it i'll change the same text now you have to change this one as a sorry you have to this all as is i am style it you know the style we have to simply we need a only we need a we put on header right. we have to place it over here then not the style is not applied right, right. come to see the copy i have placed it simply coming here this one should be ego software solution right now we will be make the style okay so how to make the style here is this is a blank one if you want to change the color you will be able to change go to the style okay there will be a text color if you want to change the color as something like that go here you will be able to change right if you want to uh, increase the font and everything your typography here there will be the property called typography if you go here if it increase the size the size will be incremented okay it will be incremented whatever size you can give it is as a it, it will be incremented like this very simple okay so yeah i am going to give linda solution software solution linda software solution right like this anything okay if you want to change the font you will be able to change the font here just click on this one you will be able to change the font and everything everything you can change okay the font families are there you will be able to change what are font you will be able to change right okay this is a simple way you have to write like this right if you want to decrease the font size you will be able to decrease it increase you have to increase it that is your wish right so all the stuff you have to done like this now here i am going to import the images right so how to import the images go here image you have to drag here here this is the choose image uh, i already have a image some uh, images i have already uh, put okay this is images right i have some images i have put it uh, the folder right first image i have get it here this one okay you can get any images uh free images you can find it uh, on the uh, sites right there are many sites are there you can find it the site right so have a good site i find the free images you have to search free images i get it some images from here these are the on flash this all the stuff the free images the this all the sites are which which we provide the free images i got them now let's back to our add new this one uh, home page i'm going to add the uh, images right so Okay, this is the image I have chosen. Select this one, insert. Right, it is coming like this, like here. Okay, you can see here. Now here, you will be able to adjust this one, right? You will be able how to increase the image, how to decrease padding, all the stuff you can setting here, right? So this all the stuff you are setting. Here. Select this one images. Go to the advanced. There are the margin and padding, right? In your website, uh, I hope you all the this are studying. What is the margin does? What is the padding this when you are studying the html right so here margin if you are select as zero margin and uh, padding also you are select as zero right zero as part right it is not right 
that you are set here. This also we have set is that zero, zero. Right? Here you can see here this is a margin, right? If you are padding also, you can here it will padding. You have set as zero. It also this one also is on zero. It will come in like this, in zero position, right? You can set like this a margin, right? If you want to the margin look like this in the middle, you can check like this, right? If you are need like this margin, right? Like this, right? Perfect. Will be fit, fit on the screen. You can check like this, right? Uh, right. This is how you have to do the task. Uh, now let's simple. If you are done the changes, click update button. The changes changes have just been updated. Now the you can see the live. Okay, it will be live. You can check here. It's a live. A simple website, right? It's a simple live. Here, simple one. Okay. Now I am going to discuss about the below area of this one, how to put the serv our services, this all the stuff, okay. So let's go to the, this is our site, this let's go to the, uh, this element, right, this uh, task we have done, uh, this with the element, right. So out of that what I am going to do is here, the other things we have to switch off, this all the stuff we no need that, right, right, okay, right, okay. Right. Now here, what I did here is, now I am going to drag the, Another things, right? First one for our services. So drag. I need only one here. This one should be our our services. So uh, go here, drag one header. This header I have to name it as here. You can name simply here. You can type here is our services. Right. Now if you want to change the color and everything, I will taught how to change the color and everything. You have to select this one. Uh, style. Here they are the default this one, you will be able to change the color here. Whatever color you need, you will be able to change. Okay, you take some time to do the things. Okay, I will talk to just. Okay, if you want to increase the font, fan family, if you want to change the font family, all sorts are there. If you increase the uh, increase a little bit, you can change like this. Right? Okay, this is all the stuff you have to do. do right? The things you have to do, all the stuff are there. Uh, right, after that. Uh, you can uh, give the uh, text shadow if you if you need you will be able to do the uh, text shadow uh, this all the stuff you have to do right the simple one you have to do the things right okay now after that what i'm going to do is here uh, this is our editing the update successfully each and every update you can click update and you can see check here live oh, perfect this is perfect right now you can see it is a perfect right very simple i haven't wrote any code uh, code here just I just simply we have to do with the Elementor, very simple, okay, with the, done the small website using the Elementor, right, it's very simple one. Now here, again I am going to click this plus sign, I need this three, this time, so here we have a three, so we have to, uh, template I have to choose this three, first one, what I go here, do, do the task is, I need here, go here, image box i need image box this one drag and drop one okay first i will get one image box first image i have get it can choose here upload the rest of the images these two images this these two images or down the control key down and select both open it it is uploading right it is uh, it will be uploading that right. insert media right it is coming here right okay now the choose this one only just choose it this one here we have to editing i am going to give here as this editing we have to give here as web development here you have dummy text you can have you can give any text over here right i can uh, i just give the dummy text here i just give you can type your text what you want right i have a dummy text i put a dummy text something like that as an example, I am going to give it as a dummy text only, I will give it. You can give any example, like I just give here, as a dummy text, right? Right. This one, you have to raise it, you have to put it under the base, the dummy text, right? Uh, right? This is the thing we have to do, very simple. Okay, you can see here, it's very simple. This one also, you have to adjust it. Uh, image is full or thumbnail or everything else, you can put it here, medium or whatever you need to put it, right? So here also style also you can give the spaces in between the spaces of the 
uh, images and uh, between the text and images and width and height all the stuff you can customize very simple border radius all stuff you can uh, you can adjust it very simple it's a content you can go here uh, typo graphic here also you can uh, adjust the size and everything all stuff you can check here. right you can check all the stuff and uh, uh, here you have to go to the advanced here also you can set the margin and everything you can check check here margin also you can check the margin all the stuff you can check here all stuff you can check here uh, here also another stuff your responsive i will be talk it later on uh, border uh, border also you can whatever border you need you can give the border also here here border means it, it is coming like the border right uh, the same thing like that okay here border type is here you can take the border type it will become new like this border type if you if you like you can give the border type and uh, that's the thing you have to do the box shadow also you can give the box shadow also there you can give the shadow here shadow effect also there you can have it whatever you need right this is the simple stuff right very simple look like a uh, like uh, look like a word okay something like the word border what is the border does mean this is a border okay there are many properties are there you just adjust and check if it is uh, border if you are checking dash what happened if it is a group right this I, I, I just keep on the group okay it's look like this right okay this is the thing we have to do right now what I'm going to do is here uh, I have updated right now the same thing I just copy right click and copy this, you, you just right click and copy select this one second one right click and paste it right here also right click and paste it now you can have a modify this is how you have to do okay if you are do like this again you, you you don't have to do it once it done the same thing you have just copy and paste it over here right now i'm going to this one we have to select as instead of web uh, web design web developer i'm going to change that software developer software developer right images if you want to change select this images change this one Okay, it adjusts successfully. Now, if you want to change of uh, all the uh, letter and everything, you can uh, the something like that. You can just give the same thing here also. You can type whatever, right? The example I have put it like this, right? Well, I put it like this, right? Simple. Okay, this it. Okay. After that, the web development. This here I have put it graphic design. Third one as a graphic design. It's like this one. Two images. I have put it this one. Right, this one should be a graphic design. This one, graphic design. Copy this one. Paste it. Right, it is coming like this. Okay, very simple. Okay, very simple one. This is how we have done. Click updated. It updated everything. Now let's go ahead and have a live. Right, control C copy, control V paste over here. You can check the live. Here, very simple. Here, you can here what is the thing is it goes here. You will be able to adjust it, no problem. Uh, go to the elementor, what happened is here we will be able to adjust, right? Select this one, go here with that now you will be able to check update right. okay okay it's no problem here you will be able to see the uh, things very simple okay this is how we have to do the simple website look like this okay if anyone can design the uh, site look like this very simple uh, this will make the website very simply okay so here now if you want to change the title here uh, i'm going to go to change the title as linda software here okay so let's go to go to our dashboard so this is our if you want to make the changes go to the dashboard okay don't worry about that you just select the dashboard uh, setting general linda software right okay save changes save changes right this is the thing we 
here. Okay, now uh, in a, if you have to instead of that uh, side title, you have to put the logo instead of that. It is very simple. You can have it here. Okay, here appearance customize. Okay, go to the customize. So okay, otherwise you will be able to see the here also there. This customize, right? Okay, change it. I already changed it. Okay, customize. Okay, customize. Here also you can will be able to change the logo. Instead of the text, you will be able to change the logo. Okay, header builder logo. You can change the logo here. Instead of the text, you can remove the text and put it the logo instead of. I, I keep it as a text, right? So right, I just quit this one. Okay, that's how we have to put the logo over here, right? In my upcoming video, I'll be uh, putting to how to design the logo, and on, uh, in my next uh, tutorial, I will teach. Okay, that's advanced stuff. So I just uh, teach, right? This simple uh, uh, teach, right? Now I'm going to create the pages, web development pages, software development pages, and graphic designing pages. How to do that? Right? Very simple. So what I'm going to do is here, go to the dashboard. Go to the dashboard. Dashboard. Now here I'm going to create the pages, right? Go to the pages, add new pages. What are the pages? What are pages? Web development. Web development. Okay, here also. Right. Okay. Web development. We have the web development page. We have to publish. After that, what I'm going to say, I'm going to create the another page. Yes, so let's uh, go to another page. I'm going to create another page. Yes, click go to the W P admin here. Okay, go here at the another page. Yes, add new. This one should be software development. Software development. Developer, you have to the content you have to set as a full width, right? This full width is good, right? Right, publish. Right. Okay, this you are this only you have to uh, delete this one, okay? Only only you have to type WP admin, right? Rest of things you have to get rid of this, uh, right? After that, I'm going to create another pages yes. graphic design. This is pages which name is graphic. Design. This alone also we have to contain full width publish. Publish here. Yeah. Right. That's that's the stuff we have to do. Right. Now what I'm going to do is see this all the pages are empty pages, right? Now first I'm going to create the menu and adjust it, right? So go to the uh, this one we have to go to the remove it. And go to the appearance i'm going to create the menu for that in order to link those pages i have created the pages i want to link those pages how to link those pages i have to create the menu so how to create the menu go to the appearance menus yeah these are the menu creation right these are the menu creation so i'm going to add a menu i just create, type as add a menu create right now here all the what are what is the pages you are selected all the pages are here coming here now here is a page right home pages i need graphic designing software development web development all the pages are there add it to menu it's all the things added to menu now you will be able to customize i need web development over here here like this here it's coming like this right it's all the menus are there uh, here this all the things are there primary menu secondary menu, all the stuff are there uh, here we just put it the things right footer i know needed only primary Right, mobile menu, all the stuff are there. I have to, you can check it as a uh, mobile as well. Right, only I have primary menu with all the things I have set it. Now you can go and have it. You can check here. Sorry, not here. You are like, you just copy, control with paste over here. You can check it as primary menu. Okay, you can check it as primary. There's a menu also there. Okay, it's a menu are there. All the menus are created. Now if you click graphic designing, it's went to the graphic design. This is here. It's a page. Yes, web development. It's a web development page. The software development. Software development page. Now we have to uh, design these those pages, right? The
the same thing you have to design those pages right we have a very simple website you have design yourself okay no need to worry about that how what is a web designing is a uh, hard or uh, easy here it's very easy you no need to write any code here the simple way okay all right now what i'm going to do is here now i'm going to i created the menu now i go to the pages and design those all pages first i have selected the graphic design edit right edit so here full content edit with the elementor those pages i have designed with the elementor right the same thing uh, i just put into one uh, here images and text okay so uh, what i did here is first i am going to drag on images image sorry first click on this one to separate to here go here first i am going to drag one image image i am going to choose what are image i just choose this one here i am going to put it to one text editor right text editor whatever text you will be able to type over here of the content okay so if you need if you are type all the text are successfully if you need another text you will be able to get another text here there the text editor you have to paste put it here after that coming here okay this one okay it's coming right like this okay if you need another text otherwise you can type break break and you can have it right okay that's how you have to do the separate uh, text like this okay okay the same thing you have to how to uh, adjust the padding all the stuff i have already talked right here margin you can set it here uh, margin and padding all the stuff you are setting you just select this one and setting here also you have set, select it and set it okay this all the stuff you are setting like this very simple select and you can set the margin all stuff you have to setting and setting. right very simple uh, after that what i did is click update it will be updated right now what i'm going to do is here linda right this is graphic designing okay we done the graphic design in part well now if you are go here you have to refresh the page you can have it this is a graphic designing page you can check here. this is a home page this is a graphic designing page this is a graphic design okay so graphic design web development and software development right this is a page is there okay now what i'm going to say again uh this all the stuff are done now what i'm going to go to the double content here we have set third one uh, after that uh, this one should be the first this one should be the home page graphic design we have done how to the web developer web development also the same thing you have to do in the web development page as well right so we have to do it uh go to the all all sorry not post pages all post we have done it here as a block spot right we will later on we will study how to make the blocks for simple block spot right so we graphic design we done element uh, software developer edit here full width you are give the full width edit with the element the element of as login now you have to customize what you what you need right click two three or whatever i only uh, i i already taught how to put one by one element right so here we have to put it another content the same thing uh, go to the images drag one images i need the images oh, sorry so the images i'm going to choose one of this i just choose one of this text what i what is the text right text also we have to put the text editor what our text right okay put it here like this okay if you need another one you have to drag and drop here anything else here if you click i on only things here no need below this i have to put it here uh, go here click on this one here and put the adding graphic designing sorry this one should be Web. Right. Web design. Anything else? Okay, you have to put the heading above. That's no problem. You have to put and design. Okay, that's no problem, right? If you need heading, you have to put it here. Right? It's a simple one. That if you are heading, you have to call it above. It is nothing, right? Okay, here if you dra just drag and drop above. Right now, if you I am going to update it, and you can 
have a look at look out the page of web development Sorry. this is not a uh, software developer okay i sorry that sorry for that select this one software developer The same thing you have to do the another stuff is a uh, dashboard that or pages web development. Full width, edit with elementor. Track one. This one you have to put the heading as sorry. You have to put, put the heading as uh, software element. Right. Now here go here. Select two. This one should be your drag one images. Choose one is this select one of these I just select this one here I have to put it some text drag one text right like this the software development right the simple way we have to done the stuff right update right. graphic design also have to make the changes okay uh, now we will be go to the live and check what happened all the things graphic designing I have to put the ID web development it's okay with that sorry uh, sorry this one should be the software developer web developer okay yeah. we have to uh, editing also we have to change as a uh, web developer right so we have to change this one as a web developer right refresh it it's a web developer it's coming like this okay okay simple what are all the stuff we have to done uh, for, for the way right simple right now what I'm going to do is here eh? the graphic design we have to put the heading the graphic design we have to put the heading uh, so your yeah, pages all pages edit with the elementor uh, drag one header likewise it is header we have to pass into here go only to above here okay, it is coming here here I am going to type the text graph design right that's it that's it etc okay this is how we have to do the website very simple website we have to make it okay uh, here you just copy and we paste over here present the key you will be able to see here. very simple website have I made it okay as a simple one I have made it as a okay this if you are learn this one you can quickly done this one as within 50 minutes very simple content all the stuff what is the content you have you just type and adjust all the stuff you have to do by within few minutes okay very simple here the this all the stuff you have to uh, change it is a theme is a uh, display over here uh, how to ch how to put it inside of the theme your company name it's very simple go to the customize footer builder copyright you just click on sorry uh, click the copyright here click the copyright here here it will be telling the powered by the theme theme author 
Here we have to put it your name. Anything else? I just put Linda. Linda. Something Linda. Uh, solution. Right, that's it. Click publish. Now you can have it. Now you can check it what happened. The simple one. This is your simple website. Make, make it. Very simple. This is how we have to make the website. Okay. Right. Okay. I hope you guys you understood the things well. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me anytime. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.